Hello, it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this is my 24th book that I've been reading for the 2015 Reading Challenge. I will put a little link down below in the description box to explain what the challenge is about but basically you have to read 52 books over a year with each book coming from a different category. And the book that I've been reading this week comes from the category of a book with a number in the title. So I have been reading Day 4 by Sarah Lotz. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. Welcome on board The Beautiful Dreamer, your one-way ticket to relaxation and fun, fun, fun. For three days, hundreds of pleasure seekers have enjoyed tropical bliss aboard The Beautiful Dreamer. They've lounged by the pool, flirted in the bar and attended seances with famed psychic medium Celine Del Rey, mesmerised by her ability to commune with their deceased loved ones and her command of details no stranger could possibly know. Celine's young assistant Madeline is pretty sure she's figured out her boss's tricks, but she won't spoil the fun. This is a cruise after all and her job is to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And then disaster strikes. On the fourth day of the cruise, the electricity fails, leaving the beautiful dreamer dead in the water, with no way to call for help. People begin to fall ill from a mysterious flu. Celine displays bizarre, frightening symptoms of a stroke, or worse. And a young woman is found dead in her cabin, the victim of a horrific crime. Tempers rise, supplies run low, and fear spreads. And Madeline discovers that there may be someone or something on board that doesn't want the beautiful dreamer to ever reach land. Brilliant. I can't really say much more, but I will. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you will know that I did a review of Sarah Lotz's first book, The Three. I did it last year sometime. One of the best books I've read in a long, long time. This one, not as good as the three, but still unbelievably amazing. She has got such a brilliant way of writing. I just, I can't put my finger on it, but you don't want to put this down. It is such a gripping story. The book is divided up into character chapters. So there are certain characters that she's picked out and she wants to focus on them throughout the book. It starts off with Celine Del Rey, this psychic. And as we've all seen on television and perhaps in person, these psychics are frauds. They prey on the vulnerable and the sad and those in mourning and make out that they can speak to the dead. It's not true. They're just they just read body language and um, give vague details. Oh, someone whose name begins with K is coming through. That could be anybody. So Celine Del Rey is one of these psychics who says the buzzwords and makes people feel like she's telling the truth, but it's all just one big act. And she is performing a show on this cruise liner and when she leaves, she goes back to her cabin and she starts to feel a little bit ill. And her assistant, Madeline, can't work out what's going on. And this is when things start to go wrong on the ship. Everyone was having a good time, not just the people watching the show, but, you know, just general fun and, and you know, just having a good time on this cruise liner. And then the electricity goes and the captain of the ship keeps coming over the tannoy oh, everything's okay, we've, you know, just hit some dodgy water and trying to make out that everything's all right. But then strange things start to happen on the ship and people start to become ill. They're throwing up, they're, they're just, it's not just seasickness, it is a serious illness and no one can work out what's going on. And various people on the ship see things that shouldn't be there. One of them is um, a cleaner and she's going around checking all the rooms to make sure that everyone's OK, that everyone has evacuated their rooms and gone up to the main deck just in case they need to obviously evacuate the ship and, and go to safety. And the ship is for adults and this one cleaner, Althea, sees a small boy 
and that terrifies her because a boy shouldn't be on the ship. Other people see other things that shouldn't be there. There's a woman in white and there's a strange man that appears and disappears. And everything turns to chaos and it is brilliant when you see just what human nature compels people to do in a situation of panic. And the characters, they don't know what to do. They're stuck in the middle of the ocean. They're supposed to be back at port. Some of them have got to travel off elsewhere. They can't radio through to anyone. No one seems to know they're missing. No one's come to look for them. And it's a very claustrophobic, frightening situation that would just terrify me. The toilets stop working. People have to do their business in a plastic bag. Um, it's just horrible. The food's run, running out. They can't cook anything. There's no electricity to cook, which means the fridges and the freezers are going down. And people are behaving very, very strangely. The one that is behaving the most strange is Celine Del Rey. And there's something not quite right about her. And I won't tell you what, and I won't tell you why. But it is such a well-written book. It is so enjoyable. You don't like all the characters, but you're not supposed to. But you really can get into their heads and into their ways and I just I cannot praise this author enough I've I think she's only written two books under this name I know she's written things she um she does collaborations and, and writes with other people but this is so good if you haven't read the three I would advise you reading that first because although this isn't a sequel it does take snippets from the first book and and uses them in here which adds to some wonderful mysterious strange goings on i just i think this is just amazing i can't i can't even think of any other words to to say about this book it is just so exciting you don't want to put it down you need to know what's happening and even at the end, you're still left with a little bit of a, I'm not too sure what went on, which I like. It's very supernatural. And I quite like that, where you're not too sure what has gone on, but you know it's not good. And I can feel that there's another book coming after this, and I really, really hope so, because I think some things need to be tied up from the first book and from this one. So this, I just, I would recommend, I would recommend it because it is just so good. But like I say, read the three first, then read day four and you will, you'll just be so glad that you did because so beautifully written and such exciting stories. So if you would like to hear any of my other book reviews, then please subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out every time I've done a book review. I occasionally give writing advice and talk about my own writing. So if you're interested in reading and or writing, then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.